Hello students, in this video we will specifically discuss net physics. So we will first go through the paper pattern. For this we will download the browser from the official website csrnta.nta.nic.in. Here you can see in the information, you, you have the information bulletin. I have already downloaded that here browser. So I will show you here. So this is your browser June 2022 from this we will see now only the thing related to pattern of question paper. So you can see CSR net conducts exam for chemical sciences, earth and planetary sciences, life sciences, mathematical sciences. Every paper has a different paper pattern. Okay. So you can see here and this is the pattern for physical sciences we have part a b and c in part a we have questions on general aptitude there are total 20 questions out of which you have to solve maximum 15 questions each question has two marks so this part is for 30 marks if the answer is wrong then there is a negative marking of 0.5 that is one fourth of the this uh, correct answer then in part b you have questions from core paper we will shortly see the syllabus so from that you have to solve out of 25 you have to solve maximum 20 questions each question has 3.5 marks for correct answer and it's one fourth means 0.875 will be reduced if your answer is wrong in part C, which we call as advanced paper, we have total 30 questions out of which you have to solve maximum 20 questions. Each question has 5 marks and there is 1.25 which is one fourth of 5 negative marking. So this is total 20 mark question. The 100 marks are coming from the part C. 30 mark from part A, 70 mark from part B. So part C, that is advanced part will have maximum marks in your paper so you can see the other things in the paper whatever uh, how to fill the form what is the eligibility criteria and so on so i'm not going through this so we have these things okay and what happens if you solve for example in part a if you solve 16 questions instead of 15 so they will check first 15 questions and accordingly they will give you the marks okay now we will see what is the result analysis so for this i will put here cut off net physics okay here i have already searched so we will see this uh, this is year wise cutoff if you want just for a single year then also you can check so you can see for physical sciences the cutoff of 2022 was 50.25% that is 100.5 for ZF and for lectureship it is 45.22 that is 90 marks something this is in percentage because we have paper out of 20, 200 we have to multiply this by 2 so we will get the actual marks for the cutoff and then on this website you also have the previous year category was cutoff so you can see from uh, 2021 20, 20, 20, 29 sorry uh, 2019 uh, June and December all these uh, have given and you can see we have for unreserved that is open cutoff maximum is almost 51 percent so uh, we can consider 105 marks are safe marks for any category so you should have a target like this uh, 105 is minimum I would say you should set a target uh, even for a first attempt you can set this target in the next attempt you can in increase your target you may increase your target and work accordingly so 
this is the thing now you can see the syllabus physics syllabus you can download okay. you can directly write here csr net physics syllabus okay. and you can get here from csr hr dg website here it is the latest website uh, latest syllabus i also downloaded that also so we will see here okay so in this we don't have the syllabus for part a you can check that separately but here i want to show you the physics syllabus the part a which score means the uh, part b in net paper okay you can see here mathematical methods of physics that is mmp then classical mechanics electromagnetic theory quantum mechanics thermodynamics and statistical physics electronics and experimental methods these papers are in the core that means we will get questions for 3.5 marks on this part and in part b advanced part we have again these six paper maths classical em quantum mechanics thermostat and electronics but apart from these subjects we also have atomic and molecular physics condensed matter physics or we call as a solid state physics and nuclear and particle physics so this this uh, part has only five marks question and usually these questions are easier than most of the questions in uh, this these six parts these six papers paper wise distribution is there in your 200 marks okay total there are 75 questions out of which we have to solve 55 so how is the distribution in general or usually we have for mathematical physics we have this kind of question four to six questions each year in part b and three to five questions in part c so average marks will be from 35 to 40 similarly we have uh, the distribution of all the core papers and advanced papers now you can see the highest mark wattage is for mathematical physics so you cannot skip this and there is one more reason for that that in all other papers like classical quantum electromagnetic thermo statistical electronics you have to solve something even in these three papers you have to solve something so you should be very good at mathematical skills so you should not skip this mathematical part and then these three are core papers other than mathematical physics so these three are also having highest mark so you should focus on these four so if you focus on these four core papers you can score maximum and with this also you can uh, uh, these three part like uh, atomic and molecular physics and nuclear particle physics they are very easy questions if you have studied well then these are very easy for five marks so you also focus on these two subjects i personally have focused on these subjects and then qualified but you should know uh, uh, some basic concepts in all other papers also so that if the easier question appears in the exam then you can easily solve then these are some reference books uh, for mathematical physics we have mary elbows hk das and uh, weber Upkan and weber also i would recommend for numerical methods in the syllabus of mathematical physics you have some numerical methods these these books don't have that syllabus so to see that you have to check any uh, engineering mathematics books then for classical mechanics you have gupta kumar sharma jc upadhyay and ranan jok uh, any of these books you can use uh, and it is not necessary that if you uh, take a one book and you should do everything in that book you can choose other books also for quantum mechanics we have norman zetley dj griffith and g arul das in g arul das they have a separate book of 500 problems in quantum mechanics so this is also very good book for net aspirants to study then for electromagnetic theory we have dj griffith again and sp puri now there are two differences here uh, griffith is in si units and sp puri is in 
CGS or Gaussian units. So you should take care that uh, you should s see the theory from SP Puri and you should solve the problems from Griffith. Then for statistical mechanics we have SK Sinna, BB Lord. For thermodynamics we have uh, we can see this from concept of physics by S. C. Verma sir. And then uh, there is a one very good book on Blundell and Blundell. For solid state physics we have S. Pillai, Puri and Babu. Then electronics B. L. Theraja, atomic and molecular physics we have S. K. White, Raj Kumar and Bangal. For nuclear physics we have S. N. Goshal, D. C. Thayer. And you should also see the NPDL videos by S. C. Varma. And for part A, there is a book by Kasti Vargis and he also has a YouTube channel and uh, I have already given the link in the previous video in the description box. If not, you can check in the video of this uh, description box of this video and you can get his YouTube channel. I will also make a separate video on part A. Uh, in that also, I will repeat this. So if you have any queries, you have any doubts or suggestions, you can reach me on this uh, email, whatsapp or the description box of videos. Like, share and subscribe this channel so that you can get very good content related to net examination and other topics on physics. Thank you.